All right. Uh, hey, everyone. I'm Luya Wang. I'm a product manager in uh, Team Scraft team. So first of all, how do you know this session is for you? Uh, if you are a developer or a stakeholder of a Teams app, uh, that you are trying to make your app be more collaborative, uh, you are trying to improve your user engagement and retention, or you're just trying to explore the ways to send your user notifications, this session is for you. So let me go to this full screen mode. Uh, I'm Lu Yao, a product manager in uh, Team Scrap Team. I focus on notification APIs. Do you know that activity notification improve user engagement and retention in Teams? So today we're going to cover a couple of things. Uh, first, we're going to show you what are the Teams activity notifications APIs, because um, you might need some more context to get started. And then um, we'll show you a demo of the new RSC permission. Um, we'll also talk about what is RSC, so to give you full context on that. Uh, and then next, we'll talk about why you should consider using notification for your Teams app. And then in the last but not least, if we have a couple of minutes, we can do some Q&A. So what is activity notification? Um, activity notification is a native Teams experience that can be entered from the top left button, this little bell button. It is usually where the Teams users triage the action items that require their attention. You often see notifications from channel mention or chat mention, but do you also know that apps can also send notification into activity feed? You can actually use notification APIs in Microsoft Graph to extend this functionality. Activity feed provide re very rich uh, experiences and it better engage users in Teams. So what are the APIs behind the scene? A Teams app can be installed for user team or chat. So our API also support the three contexts. You can send notification to all the users in the chat. You can send notification to all the users in the channel, or you can also send you a notification to a specific user. Additionally, you can send notification in bulk up to 100 users at a time using a bulk send API. So what the API uh, looks like and what will be the UX looks like, here's an example of sending notification to a user for a task created. Here you will call against our endpoint, which is send activity notification. And then you will give us a source URL, which allow us to deep link to your app in the right pane. So this loads up the richer experience and it directly bring user from Teams into your app, so that improve the user engagement and uh, retention there. You can specify the activity types in Manifest. Here you can just refer to the same activity type here. We allow templated parameters, so you can replace the parameters in the Manifest with runtime parameters like task ID or specific number or names. This preview will show up as three lines in the left rail. Okay, so now it's about the demo time, but before the demo, let's talk about what is RSC. RSC stands for Resource Specific Consent. It is a new type of authorization framework building Microsoft Teams, and it allows, you, uh, allows users to grant scoped access to an app. So instead of allowing admin to do all the granting permission tasks, we now using RSC uh, application uh, permission, we can now allow users to grant these permissions directly to the app. As you can see, we uh, support both, uh, sorry, we support all chat group and user scope permissions, and admin consent is no longer required when you use RSC application permission. Uh, we also support delegated and application as usual, but uh, some of them may require admin consent before user can actually receive the notification. If you want to read more about RSC, click this link. It will bring you to an RSC overview. Uh, in addition to notification API, we support RSC for a lot more other APIs as well. Um, we also have a blog post to talk about how you can use RSC with notification API, and you can access through ak.ms slash nAPI RSC blog. 
Okay, now it's the demo time. I'm going to play the video. I hope everyone can hear the audio too. Here's a demo of how platform apps can use RSC to send activity notification to users without the need of admin consent. This app is trying to send a notification to remind everyone in the team to pick up their swags. Previously, when RSC was not available due to Apple's using application permission, the notification cannot be delivered to users unless admin manually grant this permission in AAD portal. Now that RSC is available, app can just declare this permission in manifest. Here's an example of adding user scope RSC. With user scope RSC enabled by default, users now have the control on whether they want to receive notification or not, so that admin consent is no longer the hurdle. This will encourage more apps to adopt activity notification, eventually will increase user engagement in these apps. Okay, so that's the end of the, this demo. As you can see, you can actually put RSC permission in your manifest, and that will allow your app to use RSC and send notification to the users. This will again remove the hurdle of admin consent and really allow apps to directly send notification to the users. Here's okay. Um, so now we have seen the demo. Um, you might think, should I use notification for my apps or not? So I want to show a couple of points of why you, you should uh, or in what cases you should thinking about using activity notification APIs. Uh, first, our APIs or activity ex uh, experience is highly engaged. Comparing with chat or channel notifications, apps notification actually get two times more click rate and then users are more likely to engage with collaborative requests. I have a couple of examples of what collaborative requests mean in my next few slides. Uh, second is that we can improve your user retention for your app. Uh, comparing with other apps, um, apps using notification APIs see a 50% higher user retention because users are often attracted by the notification and really forming the habit of coming back to the app regularly. Here are a couple of collaborative notifications as examples. Uh, we already have a lot of first party apps using um, a notification already like Power BI, Word, PowerPoint, Vivo Learning, Assignments. You might al already start to get these notifications in Teams. Power BI notify users about new report being shared with the user so that the user can just click on the notification and load the report directly in the right pane of Teams and view the report. Viva Engage send uh, reminders about someone shared a new post. The someone will can be uh, someone you followed in Viva Engage. Collaboration requests are also very often uh, for example, in Word, uh, your colleague shared a file with you. It is a collaboration request for you to check out the file, and you can just click on this notification, and it loads the Word app and the documents on the right pane for you in Teams. PowerPoint send notification about someone had mentioned you in the file. This is a very strong signal of your colleague request to collaborate with you, seeking your feedback, asking your questions, so with this one click, you can just directly reply to this uh, uh, question without jumping out of Teams app. We also have a lot of apps sending reminders to, to users. Everyone is busy nowadays, so we need reminders to um, show us something is due soon, like the training is due in one day, or uh, your focus time is about to start, so get ready for that. Apps also send alerts to remind users about some failure activity or a urgent request from their uh, colleagues so that uh, even if the user is using other apps outside of the Teams, like sending an email in Outlook or working on some other decks in PPT, they can be notified with a OS system, uh, OS notification, um, and then jump back into Teams to process these tasks. 
Uh, this is a pretty text heavy size, but advantage of activity notifications are like, it is a definitely a native Teams integration and it, it can bring your app to the users more often. It comes with an OS notification in a desktop or mobile, so the user can be dinged with the notification. Uh, it is highly customizable. You can pass in runtime parameters to us. You can customize the content you send to the user. You can also pass us any deep link to show up in the right pane. It definitely increases your user app engagement, and we have seen a huge success data um, throughout the first party and third party apps using notifications. If you want to read more about activity notification, here's a link you can read more about it. And if you ca have questions or feedback, feel free to use the link to submit a form to me, and then I will uh, make sure to send you the news about notifications or answer your questions and feedback. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm.